Total registered foreign capital during January to July amount to more than 18 billion US dollar in Vietnam, a year-on-year -year increase of 10.9 percent, according to the Ministry of Planning and Investment Foreign Trade Agency. Foreign investor funnels their money in 18 out of 21 economic sectors, with the processing and manufacturing industry attract the largest shares of over 12.65 billion US dollar, or 70 percent of the total. The realty sectors came second, followed by wholesale, retail sale industry, and professional activities and science technology. Singapore is worth this biggest investors among 91 countries and territories investing in the nation in the review period, followed by China's Hong Kong, Japan, China, and the Republic of Korea. Vietnam continued to be the top source of rice in Singapore with over 54.6 million US dollars worth of rice shipment to the nation during January to June, a year-on-year -year surge of 54.67%. Statistics from the Vietnam Trade Office in Singapore show that export turnover of glutinous rice to the city-state rose more than five-fold to 8.9 million Singaporean dollar. Broken rice shot up 187 percent, and milled or husk fragrant rice for 161 percent. Singapore's increasing rice import is attributable to India's rice export ban and the country's tourism recovery. The signing of agreements and commitments at the government level regarding rice supply will contribute to stabilizing Vietnamese rice shipment to Singapore. The International Cooperative Alliance Asia Pacific ICAAP, in collaboration with the ICAAP Women Committee and the Vietnam Cooperative Alliance, convened the ICAAP Regional Board Meeting in Hanoi on Monday. The upcoming approval and implementations of the ICAAP strategic plan for 2025 to 2030 is seen as a crucial document in light of the International Year of Cooperatives in 2025. The biennial ICA AP regional board meeting serve as a platform for member organization to report on their activity, discuss ongoing initiative, and align efforts with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. The Vietnam Cooperative Alliance commits to facilitate the sharing of experience and mutually beneficial cooperation among cooperatives in different countries, contributing to the growth of cooperative movement both regionally and globally. Vietnam served nearly 10 million international travelers in seventh month. Special Nature School in Ninh Bình. The number of international tourists visiting Vietnam in July top 1.15 million, lifting the total in the first seven months to nearly 10 million, expanding by 10.9% and 51% year-on-year, respectively. The figure reported in the January to July period increased by 1.9 percent compared to that in the same period of 2019, with over 7.8 million arrivals. Asia was the key source of tourists for Vietnam in the period. It was followed by Europe, the Americas, Oceania and Africa. The Republic of Korea and China contributed nearly half of the total number of foreign arrivals to Vietnam. Meanwhile, the European markets also continued to grow well, with a surge of around 47 percent, including key markets such as the UK, France, Germany, Russia, Italy, Spain, Sweden and Switzerland. 
The northern province of Ningbing has launched various programs on experiential tourism and nature explorations in recent years, contributing to spreading the love of nature. And among those are camping programs in Kuk Phuong National Park aimed at children. These children are joining the summer camp program titled Growing Up with the Great Forest Kuk Phuong Camp 2024. The unique journey is designed with diverse activities to bring the forest closer to more people and spread the love of nature. We aim to inspire the children with our work. So joining the camp, children can have a closer look into nature, wildlife, and especially our mission, what we are doing here to preserve the beauty of nature. Within a week of camp, children participate in experimental activities in the middle of the great wilderness, including watching fireflies, trekking through forests, visiting thousand years old trees, and learning about Hmong culture through cuisine and folk games. We have joyful memories here. We get to visit lovely animals and practice being a forest ranger, which will help us in the future. These meaningful activities will help children know more about the efforts of people working to protect and preserve the forest, wild animals, and ecosystems. Eco tours like this special one week camp have made Kuk Phuong National Park become a living museum and a large school where generations of students can come to collect precious knowledge on nature. That's the end for today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.